We'll start in three, two, one, go. And we begin. Can we clear the midfield of all the game pieces? Blue Alliance has taken two, and now two more. Bucks Wrath coming up short, 148 missing. That's going to mean Blue Alliance will be ahead of 56 to 45 at the conclusion of the autonomous period. 649 scooping up a cube remaining in the midfield. See if they'll score that, which they will. 1756 dropping a cone, coming up short in the bottom row there on the outer grid. 1756 reaching down, picking up a cone. See if they can get it scored. Red Alliance 148 with a cube. Shooting for the top row, they're gonna score that in the middle. 818 with a cone and right behind them, Bucks Rath. Red Alliance now, slight advantage, 80 to 77. And 148, putting a cue in the middle row. Red Alliance surging ahead, 103 to 97. Each side with three, four links completed. Well on their way with plenty of time to fill this grid. The question then becomes, how far into supercharged territory will we go? 1756 with a cone coming around. Looking to get that position in the middle row to complete yet another link for the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance now moving ahead, 133 to 124 over the Red Alliance. Red Alliance trying to catch up. Big hit midfield, 818 on 59-40. 59-40 not losing their grip, depositing a cone in the middle row. Two more spots remaining for the Blue Alliance to fill the grid. Red Alliance right behind them with 30 seconds on the clock. Bucks Wrath dropping a cone, completing the grid for the Red Alliance. Now it's all supercharged. 168 all on the board. Nine links created. Bucks Wrath coming in with another cone. Can it score? It can. Can 148 put up another cone? Here comes 5940 dropping the forks. They're going in the air. Will they remain in the air long enough to be down? Both sides. Duck and engage. Red Alliance. They've got one, two, three, four. By three points, by one supercharged node, they are going to take the win here with 207 points on the board. Blue Alliance will have another opportunity to.